Hello and welcome along and welcome back to This Is Island. Uh, we're currently heading up to the shop in the Massey Ferguson. Uh, in our Massey Ferguson telehandler. Uh, this is because just over here we have the bucket that we bought uh, previously. Uh, we need to get that connected up. Uh, but we also have something else to uh, sort out down here. So we're going to take this over to the shop purchase. Uh, because we're, we're going to need to start doing some crop protection. So if we have a look here on the map uh, at our farm. You can see that field 33, that is ready. Uh, that needs some... Uh, well, it's growing rather nicely. It is currently absolutely full of weeds. Uh, and it also, if we take the weeds off, is only fertilized one stage. So we need to get this weeded and fertilized. So we're going to need a sprayer for that. Uh, so we need, we need one for that. And we also have 41 and 34. We're going to be planting both of these. And of course, 31, we need to plant uh, with grass as well. So really, there's a lot to get done. We've also got a few jobs that we need to do in the yard. So we're going to get the sprayer and get that started as well. So, under here, under crop protection, we actually have quite a wide variety of sprayers to choose from. Um, I'm not going to go with either of the standard in-game ones. The Hardy Rubicon is massively expensive and way beyond what we need for here. Uh, the Stara isn't really appropriate for this map. Uh, and that kind of leaves us with these. Um, I have a similar thing with the uh, New Holland. I'm not a huge fan of this. And that leaves us with the Amazon or the Horsch. And I I think it's a tough one. The, the Horsch is slightly less money, slightly more power, and has a slightly larger tank. So I think this is going to be our choice. Uh, is the horse. We're going to put the GPS on it because that is always useful. Uh, and I always got, I quite like the look of this sprayer as well. Uh, and for 226,000, I think that is actually a really good deal. So let's grab that as well. Head back. And there it is over there. So we'll get our telehandler in. Uh, into formation with it. We'll just check. Yeah, I have my wheels set up fine. I actually came over here with my wheel wheels in a in a legal in legal position. All right, let's turn that there. There we go. So that's set up. We're gonna jump in our horse spray here, and here it is, in all its glory. Really quite nice. I do like uh, the lead PT350. It's a, it's a nice sprayer, this. So we're going to turn off the show lines at the moment. And take this back. So ideally, what I want to do is get this back to our yard. Yeah, nice and clear. Uh, get this back to our yard. And uh, we'll get it filled up with herbicide and go and spray the field. Is it coming? Where is... Okay. That's got blocked. So we'll... Ah, yeah. Got blocked by the wall. There we go, all sorted. Let's get onto the side of the road. We're going to end up with a car between us, but never mind. Uh, so yeah, let's get this back to our farm, get it loaded up with some herbicide, and then we can go and spray off those nasty weeds that are infesting our crop. We've returned to the farm. And we're just going to pull this into the yard. Go and use our fill anywhere. Or oh, sorry. Fill anything uh, silo, which is just around the side here. Yeah, there it is. Over there. 
And we're going to fill this with herbicide. Herbicide start. Fantastic. Uh, so that takes 6,000 of that. And we want to switch over to this. Take that off. Um, we're going to take this around the other side because we're going to use this in a bit to come and empty the shed of the grain that we've got on the floor here. Because I want to put that into our grain store. Yeah, I've got a fair amount of grain on the floor here. So, uh, yeah, we want to go and put this into our grain. Uh, put this into our grain store in a bit. So we're going to leave our telehandler here for now. Where is... Yeah, that is the one we want. Uh, so we're full of herbicide here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the field first. It'd be really useful as actually putting the shuffle mode on. Uh, spray the field first uh, with herbicide. Uh, we'll go through and do that. And then I'm going to put it on course play uh, for it doing fertilizer. So it needs to do both things today. Uh, and while we're doing that, while that's doing that, we're going to go and head and get the rest of the stuff done so we're gonna we're gonna go and do some planting after this our two other fields uh, that are uh, that i need planting are all are both already cultivated so uh, are ready for us to do that so let's start with the headland and uh, and then work my way in you can see look at all those weeds <laughs> wow So, unfold this. There we go. Nice big boom on this. So, it should... One of the nice things about this on large fields is we should be able to get through this fairly quickly. I didn't realise field 27 is an arable field. Uh, so that actually would be a good shot for us. Uh, yeah, one of the nice things about doing the herbicide first is that we are able to see um, we're able to see where we've destroyed weeds, uh, as opposed to actually doing uh, fertilising where when the crop's grown this much is uh, is quite a bit harder. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's going at seven miles an hour. Even though it's wide, it's going to take us a little while. So uh, I'm going to get this done, and uh, and we'll come back in a minute and see how we're doing. Coming up to the end of the headland, and um, we've used about 20% of our herbicide. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to be down to 80% to left uh, by the end of here. So that's not bad at all. Uh, we are going to set up the GPS at this point. Uh, so get ourselves into a, a nice position. If we can set up the GPS on here, that will make things easier as well. Oh, watch. I don't want to get stuck in the hedge. But I don't want to get enough width. But, uh, but we can do this. There we go. Yeah. Set our start point. Start spraying. Looks like we've got a little patch left there. Might have to get to that. catch that later. But a small patch like that is not too much of an issue. I should probably cost us more to spray it uh, than it would to. Uh, to actually sort it. Right, we want auto width. Perfect. And away we go. So that then uh, is not going to take us too long, I don't think. By the time we've uh, by the time we've sorted this. Not much left to do now. We've got a uh, probably uh, maybe one more row, possibly two to do. Uh, lift that up slightly. Uh, and that will then be this field done with the herbicide, which would be good. Got rid of all of the weeds on here, uh, which will increase our yield quite considerably. Uh, this, I think, is, uh, yeah, I'm fairly sure this is uh, soybeans we put in here. 
Oh no, it was canola, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, because as a few people pointed out, uh, of course, this is Ireland. And last time I said, oh, seeing as this is Scotland, uh, we should plant canola. Of course, I meant seeing as this is Ireland, I should plant canola. Which was just a really silly mistake to make. Um, so, yeah, of course, this is Ireland. This is why we've planted canola in here and not soybeans. Uh, because uh, canola is a much, much, or oilseed grape is a much, much more common um, one than uh, than uh, soybeans in this part of the world. That is just getting the last little bit. And there we go. So we'll fold this up. And hopefully it'll fold in before we get anywhere near the trees. Yep, yeah, there we go. Uh, we're going to get this back to the yard. That's all in. Uh, and uh, we're going to empty the 61% of, uh, of uh, herbicide we have. So that's 3,000 uh, odd litres. 3,058 litres to be exact. And uh, and then we can fill. So we know we actually we know not to fill. Uh, we, we know we only want about forty percent fertilizer in this. So uh, we'll fill to forty percent fertilizer and get this to um, get this going on course play to get the field done. There we go. Yeah, we might go to fifty percent total. Uh, we need to move some of our, uh, well, we need to move two of our wool pallets by the looks of things. That's getting quite full. Uh, so we might grab the 6810 and get that, that moved quickly in a minute as well. Uh, so best place to drop the herbicide. Well, then we'll drop it off over here. Yeah. There we go. So that's the herbicide dropped off, just the two pallets. So we can go and put that in away in a moment. Uh, and then, as I said, we're going to fill this with. Oh, we're on 62%. That is easily enough. Filled so quickly that it's, uh, it's sometimes an issue to actually catch it. Turning circle on this is not great. It, it, it really doesn't turn that well. It's. Uh, no, it's not got four wheel steering. I thought it for a moment it might have four wheel steering. It, yeah, it doesn't. Uh, so we're going to go spraying. Yeah. Uh, we want field 33. Is the field we're going to set this up on. Well, be careful because you lose all control of your equipment. doing course play current vehicle position uh, one headland going clockwise round and then doing the main body of the field perfect and we're going to start it in this corner like so Where's my first waypoint? That is not the right width. Yeah. Clear that. Uh, it's also the wrong field. There we go. Field 33. Still want to clear that. There we go. Right, so start it from here, and uh, and we'll let it head off from first waypoint drive course. So that'll head off on that. Now we are going to go and jump in one of these. Uh, I'm going to jump in the Massey this time. Uh, this is a little bit underpowered for the job we're about to do on it, but I think it should be fine because we're doing it on 
Uh, we, we're doing it on the flat, so it should still work. And what we want to go and look for is our cedar, which I think is around here. Yeah, there we go. So we've got canola in at the moment. Uh, oh, we've still got the light flashing on the... Uh, on this. There we go. Just turn that off. Uh, so we want to go and uh, plant some crops. Uh, I'm thinking if we're going for cows, our best bet is uh, is probably going to be oats. We have a good amount of straw, but I want to get a round baler, as I said before, and uh, and get some straw down here in round bales for our uh, for our um, horses. Uh, we don't need a huge amount, so something like oats is actually pretty good. Uh, they pay a good price, and uh, and they will also produce uh, a decent amount of uh, straw bales. So uh, yeah, uh, and again, oats is a fairly good crop for this part of the world. Uh, the alternative is to do something like wheat, uh, which we could do to get uh, to get running with chickens, maybe. Actually, that's not a bad shout. I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll go with wheat. Because wheat is going to be something that when we store it, is going to be useful to us. Uh, so we're going to put wheat in on this field here. Alright. So, our sprayer is coming this way. So fold out this. And it won't take a huge amount to uh, to get this sorted. This, of course, was a grass field, but it's much, much more accessible to us uh, than field 31. So field, field 31, we are going to go and do that as grass. So we're going to go and uh, plant that in a bit. Uh, we do need to go and cultivate it first, so it's currently not cultivated. Uh, but uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too much of an issue for that. I'm just trying to keep myself on this side. Like so. So our main field there is uh, is fully fertilized now. We're, the nice thing about this uh, Amazon speeder is... Uh, cedar, sorry, not speeder. Amazon cedar is that it's... Um, it also does the uh, fertilizing at the same time. And actually, this, this uh, tractor is handling this quite well. I'm quite happy with that. There we go. And we're going to set our GPS course. Try and keep on the same angle. Yeah, there we go. Bring this up. Uh, auto width reset offset back there we go so we should get some nice straight seeding across this field now uh, and uh, yeah a good bit of orientation uh, so something I need to address actually on here uh, as you guys all know seasons is coming out today uh, it should be on the Mod Hub at some point, uh, if it's not already out. Um, and uh, and we will be doing seasons on the channel. We've got the Realism Experiment starting this evening. Uh, and, uh, and we'll be on Oakfield Farm tomorrow with, uh, with seasons. Uh, we're going to remain on this game, on this Let's Play series, without seasons for now. Um, we will be adding seasons in once Lance Boy has updated the map. Uh, and uh, and added seasons into it. It might take a little bit of reworking and a new save game and things, uh, but yeah, we are certainly looking to eventually get seasons uh, onto this map and onto this save game. Gonna have to take this a little bit off the course. That should be all right. There we go. round uh so yeah we're 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 gonna 
be on seasons on here eventually just not immediately and this is this is one of the issues with seasons seasons is being released and uh, and there aren't going to be many maps that are already set up for it so uh yeah uh, that's that's why we're not immediately using seasons on here uh, but as i said we will be main body of the field done we're now going to go around and do the headlands. So I'm going to turn off the lines for GPS because I don't need those anymore. Uh, and we're just going to go around the bottom half of this field and finish off uh, planting this with wheat. Uh, which should be, uh, yeah, that's going to be very useful for us to plant this with wheat. And uh, and we'll get the straw off it and, uh, and get around baler and get this baled up. Uh, useful for our horses. It means we'll be able to get a smaller straw blower which will be much much more useful down there um, and we'll try and get that stored around by the uh, horses as well um, don't want to keep lugging that from the main farm uh, and then we got the square bales uh, we're gonna use them up at the cows so I'm looking to uh, probably in the next couple of videos looking to buy the cows and uh, and get that all set up but we need to do some silage first uh, uh, because we need to give them something to eat uh, and we need to do some uh, we need to do a little bit more straw although uh, oh, actually no we don't need to because we, we have straw so uh, yeah we need to we just really need to get them something to eat uh, which is going to be silage and grass and things like that so uh, yeah that's all good and should be easy enough to get together all right, so that is this field done. I'm actually going to just go over here. Now our sprayer is slipping, so let's see if we can find out what's going on with that. Don't know quite where this was trying to go then. Let's have a look. Uh, fertilized, it's got turned around rather weirdly. I think it might have been trying. Yeah, it looks like it came up this way and was trying to head around here and back. So. We'll go to nearest. Right, of course. Yeah, that's now going where it should go. Perfect. So we're we'll out the bottom of this field here and drive our way down to field 41. And field 41, I think. is a difficult one um actually we do need to put some oats in so we'll put oats in field 41 because uh we want to feed oats to the horses so yeah oats is a good choice for field 41 here nice and close to our horses as well so bring this in and the best direction the long side for this uh, oh, looking at this is, uh, as yeah, is this direction here. This is our long side. So unfold this. And that should mean that we get a nice long bit over here. And if we set this as our GPS as well. It will mean that we, uh, we're able to then actually plant it along this line. So it appears our... Uh, bit is really uh, having trouble Whoa. now this is going to be an interesting setup so I'm actually not going to use GPS here 
it's uh, it doesn't seem to be working how I want it to so easiest way uh, we don't course play it on here either down and uh, and yeah we'll just follow the edge as normal with slightly different angle to how we did the original or how course play actually did the original uh, cultivating but uh, I kind of like going along this long edge. I think this long edge is a much better way for us to do this. Okay, there we go. The main body of the field is done. We just need to head around along the roadway here and uh, and come around the uh, come around the headland. Although we're catching the uh, we do keep catching the ground a little bit and just sort of planting a bit. Uh, but it's all good so let's get into this corner uh, and put this down and then we can just come around and get these headlands done as well so we've got oats in this field we've got wheat in uh wheat in field 34 uh we've got canola in field 32 uh sorry 33 uh, and we're gonna make 31 uh and 32 are two grass fields uh, that we will do all of our uh, all of our silage stuff from initially. Uh, we will be looking to get more grass fields uh, because this is an Irish map and kind of doing um, doing silage is a is a bit of a thing. I really want to get a silage. Uh, I want to get a big mower and I want to get a uh, probably a forage harvester of some description as well. Right. Before I go any further, I want to catch that little bit we've missed there as well. There we go. We caught most of it, I think. And uh, and yeah, there we go. So this is uh, our field nicely. So that's pretty much everything planted. We got some spraying and stuff to do eventually when these grow up. Uh, but as it stands at the moment, uh, we're weed free and we are, uh, and we've got first stage fertilization. I, this is one of the reasons why I like this cedar uh, is it is uh, it has that first stage fertilization sorted. So we've got uh, less to worry about down the road, right? gonna bring that around to here as we come up into this corner oh, our cedar is a bit long we have to try and go through the gateway with it yeah, no, that's not going to work. Right, there we go. That will uh, that will have to do, I think. Lift it up. Oh, I know what we can do. We'll turn around and we'll get get that last little bit in the corner. And that will be all good. So, uh, that, I think, is where we're going to round this out. We, uh, as I said, we need to get field 31 sorted. Uh, so, we're going to get that done with... Uh, our cultivator, oh, sorry, our subsoiler next time. Uh, we also need to sort out our uh, our wool because we have quite a bit of that building up, which is brilliant. Uh, and we'll check out our sheep next time as well. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you uh, next time. Goodbye.